Welcome back to another DRS Golf video. Um, as you can see, we're at St. Croix National here. Um, by the looks of it, you can see that front nine didn't go so well. Uh, we went 13 over. Probably the worst score that I've had in, I don't know, 10 to 15 years, to be honest. Um, just couldn't get off the tee. It was, yeah, it was just a nightmare. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Um, as you can see, start of hole 10, I thought it was going to be the same thing with the way we're shot. I was able to get an 8 iron up over some trees. Um, it was actually pretty good looking. Notice that it just ran through the back of the green. Um, able to get up and down for bogey. And then is you see number 11, pretty decent tee shot. Um, honestly, don't remember what happened in 56 here. Had a punch up again, bogey. So this is where I get to uh, hole 12, par 5, and I'm thinking I'm just going to do, you know, a couple of cor course hole blogs, as you would say, I guess. Um, just hole by hole. And as you can see, it's a par 5, 507, dog leg left. So aim down the right here, trying to turn one over. Um, I was able to do so. Got that one going left. A little, little farther left than I would like, though. Not too bad. We got 195 to the pin. Um, five iron in hand, you know, with the thicker stuff. Don't think a six would have got there. Um, just trying to make a good swing, really. That's all we're doing here. Able to catch it cleanly, watch it come out nicely. Um, just ran through the back with how firm these greens are. So we got a straightforward 56 chip here. Um, nicely done. Can't complain with it at all. And yes, I'm putting with a wedge. I accidentally forgot my putter in the cart a little farther than I would like to walk. So start off bogey, bogey, birdie. Um, one over through three is not too bad. So we got a par four here. Um, 442 yards um, just trying to aim down the left hand side hit a cut here get something in the middle of the fairway That's exactly what I was doing um, start a little farther left than I would like and as I looked up I saw the ball just take a hard kick right across the fairway uh, 148 to the pin got the tree on the right here trying to cut a pitching wedge around Able to pull it off, um, just didn't spin enough right as I thought it was going to. That's all right, you know, we got pin high. Better look at um, birdie here than we had on the front nine, probably about 35 feet. It's gonna be breaking, I would say about a foot from left to right. It looked good for about half of the way and then just kind of took a hard dive here. Um, about two feet on the back side able to clean up par here um, you know one over through through four holes isn't bad get to another par four here um, yeah split fairway wasn't sure what was in between so just took out two iron thinking if it did go through I mean the worst case scenario is just gonna be the rough that I've been in all day um, put a good clean smooth stroke on this one right down the middle uh, get up to the end of the fairway and I couldn't find it. Took me about 15 minutes, end up finding it in um, the thick stuff. Just probably took a hard bounce and went all the way through. Originally I had 7 iron, which is silly because this stuff is thick and tall. Um, pulled out an 8 iron, which is probably still not the play because look at it. Just shut the club face down. Um, barely even got it out and honestly I thought I made it worse. Thought I hit it into even thicker stuff, but it looks like it just missed um, in the normal cut rough here. About 75 yards to the pin, just pulled a 60, hoping to get one, you know, something in the middle of the green and then let it release to the hole. Was able to get a nice clean look at it. Um, I thought I put it in the middle of the green, but apparently I put it just on the front edge of the green and it barely released. So we're looking at about a 25 footer for par. Um, left to right, not moving too much. Um, apparently it was back up the hill because yeah, I left this one short, two feet short. But you know, we were able to save this one for bogey here. Um, 
Yeah, just like that center cut, not too bad. Um, so now we're we're two over on the back nine. Got a 149 yard par three. Um, it was back pin, so it was more 155 um, into the wind, and definitely forgot downhill to take that into factor because I got an eight iron here, and yeah, I stepped on it a little too hard. It was cutting right back towards the pin, but once I saw a bounce, it just hopped and disappeared. Um, so not knowing what was behind there, um, just in case if I did lose a ball, didn't want to come back up here. So I hit nine iron, wanted to hit, hit a second ball just to make sure, get something down there just in case. Um, this one was drawn right back towards the hole, but ended up being just short of the green. So at least I had something in play. Um, but I did end up finding the ball behind the hole. Not too bad, probably about a 10, 15 yard chip here. Um, 56 degree, open it up a little bit, just caught too much of the ball. I needed to land that on the fringe and just sent it a little too far. But not a bad leave up the hill, um, probably about a 12 to 15 footer for par. I'm reading this just right edge. It should break just a touch to the left. Um, you can see right there, I started at dead center. I pulled it, and that was a lip out. Uh, honestly, though, can't be mad. Um, it's a decent up and down, good effort. Um, at this point, I'm three over through um, through 16. Well, not through 16, but through um, through seven holes. So we got this par four, um, slight dog leg right. At the time, I didn't know that. I thought it was a straight hole towards um, those pine trees in the back. That's actually the left side of the fairway. Um, as you can see, I hit a cut here and I'm thinking uh, I'm in trouble. I'm thinking it's gonna be tall fescue stuff I'm hitting out of and hole actually does go right. Um, I still missed the fairway, but found the rough 96 yards out you know sitting up pretty nicely i'm thinking it could be a little flyer lie here um back in the wind so caught it decent threw it up just a touch in the wind which drifted right of the pin um, so we got about a 15 footer here it's gonna go right to left for birdie and again put a great great roll on it and just over the left edge um Definitely playing way better on the back nine than I did in front nine. So going into 17, still three over. Um, 185 is the number to this pin. It's front front right. Uh, I got seven iron in hand. Um, I definitely decided to jump on this one a little too much. Did not need a swing that hard. Um, I landed it pin high, and with how firm these greens are, you'll see it just bounced through. Not too bad though, um, about a foot off into the thick stuff. Just trying to get this onto the fringe and just let it release to the hole since everything is running away from it. Oh man, I still can't believe every time I look at this that I miss that chip. Oh, I thought I had it and that's that's three. Three in a row that I should have had a birdie. Um, that's all right though, save par. Still three over. We got a semi-decent long hole here, 560 par five. Dog leg right, um, fairways are firm. I'm aiming up just the left side. Hopefully to catch this, the ride of the wind and just get one long down there. Give me an opportunity here. That's exactly what happened. Turned on it, stepped on it. Definitely sent it far. I think it was like 340, 344 um, down these firm fairways. So we got 234 to the pin, uh, downhill, downwind. I got four iron in hand, just trying to sling one from right to left here. Um, it started to draw back, just not as much as I would like. Got hung up just on the, the right side fringe here, not a bad miss. Um, with my three wedge set up here, uh, I decided to pull 52. Just basically do a dumping run here. Um, get about three, four paces on, if that and just let it release. Um, it's gonna be breaking hard from right to left just the way that the, the green is sloping, so. 
just like that hit my spot it just it spun a little a little more than I would like but hey two and a half three footer for birdie um, yeah back nine was just a whole different story from the front nine um, I was able to clean this up for birdie and shot two over on the back um, going from 13 over to two over uh, that's a that's a great change um, but yeah that's gonna do it for this video Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than what I normally do. Um, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. Till next time, guys. Take care.